Good morning. Happy Passover and happy Worship Wednesday to everybody. We pray that you have a great day today. Amen. And that you will remember that the Lord is the Lamb of God who is worthy to be praised. Revelation 5 and 12, it says, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Good morning, Sister Heart, and amen. We thank God for all of you that will join us live. We're going to put this on YouTube um, later on today, so if you miss it, you can also go to YouTube. We're going to try to uh, get everything ready for Friday night. We thank God for all of you who have stuck by us, who have been praying for us, who have been a blessing to us in, in finances and in gifts and just love. We thank you all so much. Um, we praise God for you and you and especially you. There's no big eyes and little you's in this ministry. We thank God that we are a multicultural ministry. Amen. For all people. So we start out our prayer with Revelation. The fifth chapter. Verse 12. Talking about how worthy the Lord is. He's a worthy Savior. Bless the name of the Lord. God is good. And his mercy endures forever. Praise the name of Jesus. Once again, good morning to everybody. This is another worship Wednesday. God bless you, Sister Linda. We thank God for you. Amen. We're getting ready to go into prayer. But my eyes are closed and y'all slip in. Good morning again. Praise the name of Jesus. Happy Passover to those that celebrate. Father God, <clears throat> we're coming before you asking you to forgive us, Yahweh, for all of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness, create in us clean hearts and give us a right spirit, cleanse us from all unrighteousness and all blood guiltiness in the precious name of Jesus. We ask that you move by your power all day today. And God, we don't know what tomorrow holds or what later on today holds, but whatever it may be, keep us covered in your precious blood. Guide us in your word. Guide us by your voice. Guide us in the name of Jesus, Yeshua, the Christ. We thank you. We thank you because you care. We thank you because you taught us what love is. Your love is so past finding out, it's amazing. We thank you. You're holy, you're righteous, you're faithful. And we thank you. When we're learning what God has blessed, no one can curse. There's not a witch or warlock, a sorcerer, Lord God, that can do anything to God's people. And we thank you for that protection. You have covered and shield by your word and by your blood. We thank you for the angels that you give charge over us. We thank you, O oh Lord. We ask, Lord Jesus, that you help us to be the witness, the witnesses that we should be. Let our lives Speak for us under who we are and the who we belong to. When we testify, let our testimonies be so anointed that it causes those that hear to be saved if they're not saved, to long for your word if they have not been in your word, and for those that are saved, that they be filled with your Holy Ghost. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the written word, the spoken word. We thank you for the living word. Lord Jesus, we thank you for being our intercessor in heaven. We are seated in heavenly places because of you. And we thank you. Sometimes, Lord, when we're going through trials or we're growing through trials, 
we lose sight of the who we are because we're looking at the storm. We're looking at the, the trial. We're listening to the thunder and the boisterous winds. But we are built on a firm foundation. There's not a wind that can tear down the house that we're in. Lord God, we thank you that we are the temple. We, our bodies are the temple of the living God. And the wind and the rain from the storm can't tear us down because we're built on a solid foundation. And that is you, O oh Lord. Your word, we stand on your word. We will not sugarcoat your word. We will not play with your word. We will not manipulate your word to make it fit the scams that we want to put before people. We're not doing that, oh God. We want to give you the pure, we want to give the pure word. It may hurt some feelings, but it will save some souls. The pure word. But teach us that whatever we do, whatever we share, that we do it in love. That we're not bullies to the people. We don't try to put ourselves above everybody else. We don't think higher of ourselves than we ought to because of letters in front of behind our names because of what's in our bank or because of who knows us or who we know. God is not important. The only thing that's important is that we have a personal relationship with you, Adonai, as our personal God. And we thank you. We bless your holy name. You are wonderful. 2 Corinthians 5 and 21, it says, For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. And we know that him is Christ. Yes, God, we thank you for Yeshua, for Mashiach. We thank you that we know he is the Messiah. We pray for Israel. Oh, there's things going on, Lord God. There's things going on. But Lord, we pray that you save Israel. There are some folks that are in Israel that are born again. So Lord God, give them the strength. Make the way that they can share with others that have not yet received you as their Savior and their Lord and Messiah. We pray that you save Israel. Look on these states that are not united. Look on these states that we call America and save, oh Lord. This, this place has become so dark. It's become so deadly. It's become such a stench because it no longer walks in holiness. But Father, you got some people it's a remnant, but there are some people that will walk in holiness, talk in holiness, live in holiness. They will not compromise with the world or the world's things and stuff and attitudes and characters and fashions. Lord, there's some folks that will walk in holiness. Let us be part of that remnant that walks in holiness, that lives in holiness that will not compromise with sin. Lord God, we thank you. We can't do it without you. There's nothing we can do without you. We can't breathe without you. Our hearts can't beat without you. We can't walk or talk without you. We can't even think right without you. Lord, we need you. We glorify you. And we ask that when people see us, they see Jesus Christ, the hope of glory. We're asking this, oh God, for we're not trying to make a reputation for ourselves. You didn't come to make a reputation for yourself, Yeshua. So we want to be more like you. You were humble when you were here. You, you spent time with the Father. You healed the sick, you cast out devils, you taught the people about the kingdom, you taught the people about love, you taught the people about faith. Help us to mirror you, oh God, that we do likewise, that we don't get caught up in our egos, 
and our character and people accolades. Lord God, we need you to keep us focused on you. Take away fear that we're afraid to share our testimony, that we're afraid to tell folks we need Jesus. Take that fear out of us. Because you said if we're ashamed of you, you'll be ashamed of us before the Father and the angels. And we don't want that, Lord. Help us to be more like Christ. Give us Christ-like minds. Give us Christ-like minds, oh Lord. Save the church. Bring the church back to holiness and righteousness. Help us as leaders not to put up people to sing and to play that refuse to walk in holiness because we're going to give an account for what we do and what we say is your house. Help us not let folks send up strange fires just because they have a gift or a talent. Help us, oh God, to let them know that these gifts and the talents that they have, that's not going to get them into the kingdom. They have to give themselves to you. Bring back some saved leaders and some, some Holy Ghost-filled worship leaders, some Holy Ghost-filled pastors, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors and teachers, some Holy Ghost-filled bishops. Bring it back, oh God. Folk got all the titles, but no Holy Ghost power. Bring it back, oh God, that we have the power that goes with the title. In the name of Yeshua, we thank you, O Lord. Isaiah 53 and 4, it says, Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteem him as stricken and smitten by God and afflicted. We didn't even know that you were doing all of this for us. We didn't know. That from before the foundation of this world, you already had a plan for our salvation because you knew we were going to mess up. You knew that we were imperfect. And this is not an excuse for us to do wrong. Because at the end of the day, that saying at the end of the day, I'm still a man. At the end of the day, I'm still a woman. At the end of the day, I'm just human. That's an excuse. Because at the end of the day, we have to be the saints of God. At the end of the day, we have to be holy before you. At the end of the day, we have to be in right standing with you. That's at the end of the day. Because at the end of the day, if we don't have a personal relationship with you, it's going to be the end. We're going to be completely and forever separated from you. And we don't want that, Lord. We want nothing to do with hell the lake of fire, demons and devils, sorcerers and witches. We want nothing to do with it. We don't want to blend your holy and sacred music and songs with worldly music. We don't want to do that. Not in be holy, oh God. Help us to see that music does make a difference. There's a, there's a spirit in music, whether for your glory of whether to advance the enemy. There's a spirit that comes with music. And we recognize that because when Saul was being tormented by an evil spirit, David, who was anointed man of God, came and played. And because of David's anointing in his hands and in his person, the music was anointed and it drove the evil spirit out of Saul. Every time, Music, Lord, teach us. Teach us how to keep our music sacred, our music holy, our music as a sweet savor in your nostrils and not send up strange fire when we sing. When we lift our hands, let us have clean hands. Lord, in the name of Yeshua, we need you. We need you because of things that are coming. We need you because of things that are here. We need you to help us weather every storm. We need you when temptations come. 
We will not yield, O oh Lord, by your grace because of your grace and because of your power. You strengthen us. As Paul said, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. We thank you, O oh Lord. Isaiah 53 and 5, it says, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him, which is Jesus. And by his stripes, we are healed. It's already done. But we have to activate our faith. And sometimes, Lord, our faith is weak. I don't know. Our faith is weak. We talk it, but when it hits close, our faith gets shaky. But just like you did with Thomas, you showed yourself. So when we are weak, we come to you in our weakness. Not that we don't believe that you are who you are, but sometimes God, our faith for healing, our faith for salvation, our faith your, for your keeping power, sometimes that gets weak. We got new babes in Christ that get bombarded left and right. Help them to stand likewise. We've all sinned. We've all come short of your glory. We've all had weaknesses. We've all been down. We've all been up. We, we understand God. But help us to stand faithful. Whether it's a storm, big or small, whether it's a trial, that it seems too much to bear, you will never leave us. You will never forsake us. And you will never put more on us than we can handle. You will not allow us to be tempted above what we can handle. That's the kind of Yahweh you are. You're a wonderful God. You're the El Shay the living God and we thank you for being the living God God we don't come online to point fingers at the people and debate with the people because you told us not to debate we're not fighting about colors and genders and who's got this or that but God we want to be a righteous people and Isaiah 58 you told us to put away the pointing of the fingers Lord, we don't want to point fingers at people's failures, at, at the things that they've done in the dark that are coming to the light. We don't want to do that. But we pray for every preacher, every evangelist, whether televised, whether on social media, or whether quietly teaching. We pray that if they're not saved, that you save them. If they did fall, that you pick them up and sanctify them. If they've never been filled with your spirit, we pray that you baptize them and fill them with your spirit. Please, Lord, don't let the souls be lost and those that follow them that have itching ears because they, they like the messages, make them always feel good and never point out the sin. God, teach the people that there are times we need to be reminded that hell is larger than self-death and it's waiting and the Bible declares that hell comes up to greet those that are headed in that direction this is the word of God help us God not to be greeted by hell but to be greeted by the angels of glory Lord we thank you we bless your holy name. We need you. We declare this as Worship Wednesday where we keep our minds on you and we don't talk about how bad the days are and how hard the days are because we are alive. So many people have left here. Young people have left here. It's not about age anymore. Death don't care about age. Help us to be ready at any age that when it's the time that we'll be ready to be in the presence of the most high God. El Shaddai, we thank you. We bless your name. 
Help us to lift you up. Help us to glorify you. Help us to be soul winners. Not so we can be braggadocious, but so that the kingdom of God will expand. Help us to be soul winners. And we thank you, O oh Lord. Whatever ministry you put the souls in, so be it. But help us to be soul winners, O oh God. Not member winners, but soul winners. And we thank you, O oh God. Isaiah 53 and 6. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him, Jesus, the iniquity of us all. Oh, what kind of love. What kind of love to take on all of our iniquity. Even before we were born, he took it. But it can't be activated until we accept it. Because we can still be lost. Some false prophet said that we can't go to hell because of sin. Because Jesus has taken away sin. That's a false gospel. It's a spirit of error. A spirit of manipulation. Because we can still mess up. We can walk outside of the covenant. We can get out of the ark of safety. Yes, the Lord did die for everybody. And he did take away the sin for everybody who receives him. It's there. As we said, the promises of God are yes and amen in Christ. But unless we receive it, it's just sitting there like food on the table to a starving person. Unless you eat it, you're going to die of starvation when the table is spread. Lord, you said you prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. And we thank you not to gloat. We are to eat from your table and not worry about our enemies. Because you said vengeance is yours. And you would repay. So we don't have to fight and argue with people about gender. We don't have to fight and argue about people about colorism. Lord, we don't have to fight about denomination. But we have to fight against the enemy. Help us to be a united people. And not be so segregated. In the name of Jesus, bring the church together. Bring the church together, the body of Christ together, that we're no longer divided because a house of kingdom divided against itself can't stand. And we need you, O oh, worthy Lamb of God. We need you in our lives, in our homes, on our jobs, in our schools. We need you in the church. We need you in every relationship that we have. Whether it's family, friends, school, co-workers, neighborhood, marriages, whatever. We need you. Lord God, and we thank you. Help us to be patient and wait on you for whatever you have for us. And lead us in the right direction. Help us to follow your direction. We thank you that you have thoughts for us. Not just plans, but you think about us. You're always thinking about us, God. Help us to do likewise. Think about you. Keep you on our mind. When we get frustrated and aggravated with things and stuff and people and situations, help us remember before we open our mouths, help us to remember who we are. Let us not be like Balak and not recognize the promise of God. Not recognize our heritage in God. But Lord, in the name of Jesus, help us, oh God, to be like Abraham. Faithful. And account that faithfulness as righteousness for us. And we thank you that we are blessed with faithful Abraham because of Christ. You are the way, Lord Jesus. There is no other way. There is no other door. You said that you are the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father, God, 
except by me. Because there's no other name given among men under heaven that men must be saved. And we recognize that every knee is going to bow one day. Naysayers, so-called atheists, Satan himself, and the angels that was with him, and all those that followed him, even by default. They're all going to kneel before you and say, you are Adonai. You are Lord Yeshua. We thank you. We bless your holy name. We ask that you guide the people all day today. Those that are not saved, we pray that you begin to draw them to you by your Holy Spirit. Those that are saved, we ask that you keep them and strengthen them and protect them. Lead and guide them. Teach them when to speak and when to hold their peace. Teach them when to go and when to be still. Just because we get offers don't mean we have to go. Give us wisdom on what to accept and what to turn down. But whatever we do, let us do it all in the name of Jesus. All in the name of Yeshua. Hamashiach. We thank you, O oh Lord. We bless your name, O oh Lord. We glorify you, O oh Lord. You are Adonai, the Lord. You are Adonai, and we thank you for being the master of our lives. We yield our spirit, our soul, our bodies to you. Everything that you've given us, we place at your feet. Anoint it and use it for your glory. Help us to be in right standing with you at all times. That we don't fall, that we don't waver, that we get off the seesaw and that we stand for holiness. We stand for righteousness in the name of Yeshua the Christ. We glorify you. We praise you. Isaiah 30, Isaiah 53 and 7. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was led as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shearers is silent, so he opened not his mouth. For those that are celebrating Passover, we ask that they just don't do it to be doing it because it's tradition but they really do it to recognize the power of the blood of the Lamb. There's power, glory to God, in the blood of the Lamb. And He is Jesus. He is Yeshua. He is the only way that we're going to get to God and to be able to come before the throne of God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for being the Lamb slain. You died. You went down into the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. You got up. You were known around the people. You made yourself known. Then you ascended and are now seated at the right hand of the Father, the Godhead. And you intercede for us. We don't have sense enough to know how to intercede for ourselves. You intercede for us. We thank you. When the enemy wants to sift us like wheat, like he did Peter, you pray for us, Lord. We thank you that you're still working. We're thanking you, oh Lord, that you're still calling. We thank you, Lord Yeshua, that you're still knocking at the door. Help us, Lord, to open up the door so you can come in and sup with us. We thank you for the opportunity to come together, even via internet, social media. Social media is not all bad, God. There's some people that will use it for your glory, not their own. And we thank you for those. There's some people that will share truths. And we thank you for those. Those that abuse it, you'll handle it. And we thank you for that. We pray for the administrators of Facebook and Instagram and Meta and WhatsApp and all these other social media, Yahoo and all of them. We pray for them, that you protect them and their families, that you save them, 
if they're not saved. That you lead them in the path of righteousness and not let them go their own way. We pray for those that own these social media sites that you begin to deal with them. That you begin to let them know how much you love them. We pray for them, oh Lord. Whether they like us or not, we pray for them. And we thank you. For everyone that watches on YouTube, we pray that you touch even right now. No matter how old this video may get, always touch those that want to touch from you. Save those that want to be saved. Heal those that need healing in their bodies, in their spirits, in their souls. And we thank you. You're an awesome God. Your love is amazing. And your peace, your peace passes all our understanding. And we thank you. We thank you for this time that we could come together and just praise your name. And thank you for the who you are and what's in your name, your character, your nature is in your name. And we thank you for that. We give you glory, we give you honor today in the precious name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus, the Christ, Messiah. We glorify you, O God. God bless you, Rev. Rogers. Elder Harlick, God bless you. 1 Corinthians 15 and 3. For I delivered to you, first of all, that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures. The scriptures. If we're going to believe the scriptures or the word of God, then we got to eat the whole loaf. God bless you. This is our no frills. Wednesday morning prayer starts at 5.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 4.30 for others, 3.30 for some. We just thank God that whenever you get this, that you will remember the scriptures. We pray in the word of God. It's not how much tongues you speak in, in this ministry. That it's That's not important. We thank God for the tongues. We thank him. But it's the word of God. Because the Bible says tongues are going to cease. 1 Corinthians 13 says tongues are going to cease. But it's the word of God. That's going to last forever. When everything is gone. When this earth is gone. When the heavens and, and, and the earth are totally burned up with fervent heat. The word is going to still stand forever. So we pray in the word of God. We can't compromise. Remember, y'all, we can't play with the devil and the devil's children and then run to the Lord when trouble comes into our lives and our homes and into our families. We have to be steadfast and unmovable. Galatians 5 and 1, Paul told us to stand. Stand. Don't get confused about who God is. Just stand. On what you know in the word of God. And that the word of God is true. Lord say the same. We'll see you on Friday night. We're going to finish up. With the king and the prophet. And we're going to find out. What happens. When anointed. Led by God people. Get tied up. With folks. That are ungodly soul ties. And how you can get cursed. By association. Because you come outside of the covenant of God. This morning we tell you, stay in God's company. May his grace follow you. May his peace overshadow you. And may he smile on you. That is our prayer in this ministry. We give God the glory forever and ever. Lord, say the same. We'll see you Friday night at 8 p.m. Have your Bibles. Please have your notepads ready so you can take notes. Again, we thank you all for joining us this morning. Uh, later on today, if you want to go back over it, we're going to put it on YouTube. We have something on YouTube. It's supposed to be a premiere, and it's supposed to have stuff that introduces us before the countdown and all of that other stuff. So if y'all go in there and find it, 
to God be the glory. We're still working. Keep us in your prayers as we try to get all of this together. Remember, we're not about the thrills and the fanciness and the hooping and the hollering. And it's good if you do it. Amen. But we really want sound doctrine. We're not fighting with people. We're not fighting with women preachers, men preachers. We're not doing all of that. We're coming with the word of God. Period. That's it. Amen. So keep us in your prayers. Uh, continue to hold DJ up in your prayers. And we give God the glory. Have a great worship Wednesday. Let it be filled with worship. When you see the enemy try to goat you and to try to upset you, recognize that you've dedicated this day to worship the Lord. That's why he's attacking you. If the devil don't attack you, you're in trouble. Amen. Just begin to praise God and watch God work. Trust the Lord to handle every situation in your life. God bless and keep you always is my prayer. Again, we'll see you Friday night, Lord Say the Same, at 8 p.m. on Facebook, live, and also on YouTube.